someone recently contacted me where they had a provincial nomination in process from a province meanwhile their express entry profile suddenly became ineligible on their birthday as their score dropped below 67 points federal skilled worker eligibility points are important don't ignore them did you know that other than the crs score of 1200 points there is actually another scoring criteria that you need to pass in order to be successful in your express entry fsw application you need to score at least 67 points out of 100 in the FSW eligibility scale so you need to keep an eye on the score let's go to the PC and see how you can calculate the score to make sure you don't only get the right CRS score but you also stay above the minimum threshold of 67 points in this criteria so i have made a simple calculator for calculating your score for the FSW program these yellow fields are the ones where we will uh, drop down and choose different options let's start with the uh, education so you get points out of 100 based on a number of different factors such as education your language scores which includes your first official language so your main language in a way for majority of the people it will be english but let's say you also know french that will be your second official language score the work experience needs to be in tier 0 1 2 and 3 only right so that's mainly management professional or skilled trade related jobs it includes a number of other professions as well for example transport truck drivers dental assistants payroll administrators elementary and secondary school teacher assistants etc so it's not just skill trades but basically these are the jobs that require a couple of years of education post high school or mainly on job experience then we have points for age we have points for arranged employment that is if you have a job offer from canada it's usually for a job offer with lmia but there are certain exemptions as well you also get uh, 10 points for adaptability and there are a number of sub categories within adaptability So let's begin. Let's say you're someone who has a bachelor's degree. So we'll drop down. We'll choose post-secondary program of three years or more, which is basically bachelor's. So we'll choose that. Please also note that if your education is less than grade 12, you will not be eligible for federal skilled worker program. In our case, we said post-secondary program of three years or more, which is a bachelor's degree. You get 21 points. In terms of first official language, yes, I have the official test scores or. Even if you have an idea how much you will score you can do a self assessment but to create the profile to create the express entry profile you do need official language results so let's say you're someone who has very good english language skills which means like for reading clb9 would mean that you have anywhere from 7 or higher in your language results 7 out of 9 even if you have 8 out of 9 or 9 out of 9 in this particular scale you will only get 6 points in the crs calculator you do get more points if your ielts score is 8 out of 9 or let's say 9 out of 9 it depends whether your clb 10 or not but here for clb 10 also you get the same number of points 6 is the maximum you're going to get and similarly i've mentioned other scores as well like if you've written a selpip exam what does that mean that means 9 or higher if you have the french language exams this is the range for clb 9 all right so clb 9 let's say in writing as well you got clb 9 which means at least 7 in listening you know for clb 9 you need 8 or higher and for speaking it's also clb 9 right so that gives you 24 points in total for this section for most people this will not be applicable so let's say you don't know french so we'll just say no not applicable no points here work experience the interesting thing is that if you have 6 or more years of work experience you get the maximum points it doesn't matter if you have 30 years of work experience in this scale you won't get more points in fact in the crs calculator your points max out at 3 years of work experience outside of canada right so any more years of work experience outside of canada isn't really beneficial for you all right so in terms of age let's just pick a random number let's say 40 years old arranged employment do you have a job offer i will choose not applicable for now adaptability all right so now we can choose which of these points which of these factors apply to you have you studied in canada for at least 2 years no has your spouse studied in canada for at least 2 years no 
no previous work experience i'm assuming your spouse or common law partner hasn't worked in canada so i'll choose no let's assume that you have a relative who is a canadian pr or citizen and they are also living in canada that includes parents grandparents child grandchild your first uncle or aunt or nephew or niece let's say you have an uncle who lives in canada so i will choose yes you do get five points for that and then for uh, arranged employment so this is interesting if you have arranged employment you get 10 points in this section and you also get five more points so you get a total of 15 points in this scale but let's choose no for now and let's say your spouse or common law partner has taken the IELTS exam and they can score at least CLB 4 so if they can score at least CLB 4 in all four parts reading writing listening and speaking CLB 4 is 3.5 in IELTS for reading for writing it is 4 out of 9 for listening it is 4.5 out of 9 and and if they also have CLB 4 which is 4 out of 9 in speaking they have to have CLB 4 so at least these scores in all four parts if they do that if they do have that kind of scores you get five points for them as well 10 is the maximum points you can claim if there are other things that are applicable to you that you studied your spouse studied you have work experience if you choose yes you can get more than 10 points 10 is the maximum you can get for this section so anyhow make it no again total score is 77 points which is more than 66 it is 67 or higher that's what you need to qualify you have those points which means that you are now eligible for the federal skilled worker program which is the biggest category for canadian immigration it's the biggest category of express entry as well this also means that you can create an express entry profile but it doesn't mean that you would be successful being successful and being eligible are two different things it means that you can create a profile it doesn't mean that you will get an invitation to apply for pr for that you also need to check your crs score you need to have a very high cr score which as of today is around 490 points it's, it's 77 points it's, it's good for a lot of applicants but what happens when you are older let's say you are 50 years old right so i'll choose 47 or more you can see that you've lost points significantly now if you're 47 years or older you don't get any points for age and let's say you don't have any relative in canada either now even though you have excellent language results you have a bachelor's degree uh, you have six years of work experience all of those things your spouse can speak english at a decent level yet you cannot even make an express entry profile because you're not eligible for the fsw program this is very important it's a quick self-assessment that you can do this also means that for most provincial nominations right like especially if you have a provincial nomination where you don't have a job offer with an lmia so you can't claim any points here if it's a provincial nomination which is linked with your express entry you won't be able to create an express entry profile so you can't have that provincial nomination so for all provincial nomination options even that uh, require the creation of an express entry profile you can't do that because you're not eligible to make an express entry profile but let's say you're someone who had a master's degree so i'll choose a master's degree you get a couple of more points for that so now with a master's degree with good english language scores with six years of work experience and with your spouse being able to speak english or french at clb4 now you're eligible you can at least create an express entry profile so now you can see how this simple self-assessment is very critical now we might say that for all young people you're probably going to score more than 67 points that's not an issue but that's not necessarily true let's say you're 40 years old but your spouse cannot speak english what happens then you're getting awfully close to that 67 point mark let's say you haven't scored a lot in your ielts exam either right it's clb8 is still a decent score there you go you're at 66 points even with a master's degree because you didn't have clb9 because your spouse couldn't speak english or french you cannot make an express entry profile right so you can play around with this it'll give you a good idea you have a bachelor's degree but you have very good language scores you can qualify but what if you're 41 years old you have a bachelor's degree and very good language scores now you cannot make an express entry profile you cannot qualify there are things like that 
that's why this scoring criteria this simple calculator becomes very important and you must know this if you want to know the legal reference behind this because you'll see a lot of these calculators i made this excel version you'll find a number of them online as well but i'll show you what the legal background of this calculator is this is derived from immigration and refugee protection regulations this is the actual law right website is not law this is the actual legislation so if you go to section 78 of the immigration and refugee protection regulations irpr section 8 selection grid there you can actually see what the law says about this for education if you have a phd you get 25 points if you have a master's degree or an entry to practice uh, professional degree let's say you're a dentist you get 23 points if you have uh, two or more bachelor's degree you get 22 points so and so forth you can also see uh, this is the actual legal language about your language results how they impact your score about your experience so this is the actual legal basis for this scoring criteria right so i will put a link to this calculator you can download it for free and you can play around with it do a self-assessment and uh, just get a good idea of uh, whether or not you'll qualify if you need any help we can set up a consultation and do a deeper dive in your profile talk about different options if your score is below 66 we can look at possible ways to improve that we can look at other options outside of the fsw program one thing is very important that this 100 point criteria does not apply to the canadian experience class it also does not apply to the federal skill trades it only applies to the the federal skilled worker program within express entry thank you so much if you need any help with your application either from scratch or you need me to review your application i will leave a link in the description so you can get in touch so do calculate your fsw eligibility score as well as the crs before planning for immigration i'll also link a free excel calculator in the description thank you for watching if you found this video to be helpful subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon